who would you not want a room with on tour? Uh, I probably wouldn't want a room with Meg, actually. She's very messy. She's got crap everywhere. She's so messy, I can't stand it. Clothes everywhere, shoes everywhere. I'm sure she's probably one of the messier people. As much as she'd like to think she's improved on her cleanliness skills, um, there's always stuff everywhere in the change rooms. Lucky she rooms by herself. I wouldn't want to live with her, I wouldn't want a room with her because I just need a little bit of tidiness in my life. She doesn't invite many people to her room either. She sort of keeps it into one section so we can't see it. She's a great cricketer, she's got her life in order, but when it comes to her stuff, her possessions, they're just everywhere. <laughs> oh, Rachel Haynes was on fire that day. You were in the firing line. <laughs> Any truth to those claims at all? No, that is a stitch up. That is, <laughs> none of that is true. Uh, there's a lot of messy people around and it stays within a confined area. Yep. So maybe a little bit organised chaos around, but it doesn't spread. I've, I've rimmed with you. I can, <laughs> they're telling the truth. <laughs> and you also have this strange method of bags within bags, so um, plastic bags separating your items. I, tell us the logic around that. I don't want my shampoo and conditioner going through my bag. So, okay. you know, plastic like bag method. It's environmental issue as well. Well, usually I would think that you're one of the fastest learners going around, but unfortunately I did walk past your change room before we came on air, and I would hate to say it, but... <laughs> That ain't looking so good. <laughs>